So here I am playing Payday 2. Just picked this up and we're going into the safe house. Object activated, enter the safe house. That's pretty easy. Um, not really any tutorial. This is kind of a low-key thing. There's no risk, I believe, in this safe house job, I guess you might say. Just trying to follow this. Wait for Bane to call you. And so... This just came out last week, and I really didn't know about it before a couple days ago. And hold on, getting a phone call. Answer the phone. So get my starter kit. I guess that's uh, kind of the boss, you might say. Um, hope hopefully I get that right. Put my mask on. LB to put on mask. First achievement. Whoa! <laughs> All right, free money. How do I get inside? There we go. So, like I said, I'm guessing that guy is kind of my boss. And um, saying a little bit earlier how I found out about this game, and that is Reddit, actually. Um, couple posts came up about it and I really kind of disregarded it at first but then I kind of looked into it and it seemed pretty fun so I've looked up some videos and it looked kind of cool so decided on impulse to go get it and picking up that money so I guess this would be a good time to say it's my first let's play I'm trying to uh, let you guys hear the uh, voice of Bane, I guess it would be, as well as listen to myself, or listen to it myself. Oh, trap door, hell yeah. Why can't I move? Look at that. So it looks a little bit deeper than I originally thought just going off of some people's commentaries. Like I said, this game came out last week and I didn't really uh, really know about it. And I did look up a couple, people, a couple people's commentaries since it's kind of blown up. I read that uh, the demand was higher than expected. So a lot of people places have been sold out. And the first place I went to go to pick it up was also sold out as well and then I went to a, a nearby GameStop and they were sold out for a while and just got a shipment this morning so I had perfect timing there uh, to pick this game up and so hopefully you guys don't get too bored just me trying things out and kind of learning the game there's no real tutorial kind of bummed about that um, but hopefully um, hopefully it's easy to pick up and I'm not sure if you have to play with four players or not, or if you could play by yourself. I saw one guy doing a solo host, but heist, but um, saw that it looked to be easier with more people. I'm going to have my friend. My friend is picking it up, so I'm going to have him uh, play with me. I don't know if you can have separate, um, separate kind of accounts per se, and do kind of one like a solo person and one in like a crew. Um, but hopefully it's fun both ways and either way it decides to happen. So right now I'm just trying to pick some locks, trying to practice. Not exactly sure if I'm able to just go do stuff right now or if I, um, have to do this. But I'm going to do it anyway because it's good practice. Practice makes perfect and 
You want to be perfect when you're a bank robber. I would assume. I don't know. Need a key card. The drill. Oh, what the hell is this? Okay. So if anyone else has gotten this game, tell me what you think about it. And maybe even if you want, let me know your gamer tag. I can uh, hook us up in a little bit of a crew because right now I'm riding solo. Uh, shortly I'll have a friend and then maybe, hopefully, have a couple more people that pick up the game uh, so we can actually have a crew and communicate well and just do a whole bunch of stuff. So I'm just gonna finish drilling this here, and then if there's nothing else really to do, I'm going to call it a commentary uh, for episode one on this uh, Payday 2 Let's Play. Looking to get to some bank robbing, so I'm, I'm just pretty excited for that, to be honest. I don't know how long this frickin' takes. Oh, 106 seconds. So I guess I'll go find something else to do for about two minutes. Go check out these other things. I don't know what this, that is. Uh, like a shooting range. Oh, those are the ammo. Then what's, that's the crime net over there. This is, I read on the box there's like 500,000 weapon variations. So that's pretty crazy. I thought the game would be kind of straightforward. You just go rob some banks through a, kind of like a career type thing. And then, um, you just you're just done but it's kind of like I'm guessing you can upgrade a whole bunch of stuff like maybe like a <laughs> this is a pretty bad analogy but like a 2k 13 you can like buy shoes have upgrades uh, endorsement shoes I didn't mean buy shoes but you can like buy houses and cars and stuff so it's more like a career type role-playing game just focused around it um, so I don't know I don't know too much about the game. I honestly just picked it up off a whim of it looking really cool. So, so we'll see. Hopefully it's not too frustrating seeing all my kind of wandering and figuring out the game. I'm pretty sure this is it. Um, besides going on that crime net and looking for stuff to do. Uh, which will be my second episode, I guess. So, once I do this, I'm going to be done. And you can see at the top there, about almost eight and a half minutes have gone by since I first started this quote-unquote mission. I don't exactly know what the bottom right HUD is. Uh, maybe bullets, uh, maybe health, probably is that green ring. Um, and the zip ties, I saw that in one of the commentaries. You can zip tie civilians' hands behind their back so they don't scamper away and stuff. So, I guess that's pretty much it. We'll take a look at the cameras real quick. Interesting. Very interesting. One thing I do like is the cameras actually have the real timestamp on it. So, it's actually 11-12 uh, right now on the 21st of August. So, that's a pretty cool thing. Well, I'm going to get started, so this is it for episode one. Thanks for checking it out. Like and subscribe if you want to come back, and tell me your impressions of Payday 2. Peace out.